குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg2 plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg2 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in students now in this video we are discussing complete information regarding prophase 1 so prophase 1 of meiosis 1 so in meiosis 1 so our knowledge point of view karyokinesis we we are dividing it into so following types what are those prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 isn't it now in prophase 1 so again five sub stages we are observing emma so in prophase 1 five sub stages are there so there what are the sub stages means so once you say along with me leptotin zygotin packetin diplotin and one more is diakinesis isn't it so now in this video complete a uh, video uh, definitely i am going to explain only on these uh, five sub stages em you know, sub stages of uh, prophase 1 okay so first one uh, let us start to discuss that is is so in this particular leptotin or leptotin so what are the main important points to be discussed means once you see there chromosomes become gradually visible so here in a first point itself so chromosomes are gradually visible so thereby our knowledge point of view in a nucleus if you see there now chromosomes before before formation of chromosomes chromatin material will be there as or will be there as like a, a chromatin fibers or spindle fiber or chromatin fibers isn't it so there here the thread like chromatin material thread like chromatin material contains am a condens and converted into chromosomes so that's why here the chromosomes in this particular leptotin substage gradually visible so here that's why to give somewhat more clarity on this point i have written this point what is the point the compaction of chromosomes continues throughout the leptotin compaction means so that is is nothing but condensation process so means here when this particular compaction of chromosomes continues throughout the leptotin so gradually the gradually this particular chromosomes becomes visible emo so means for the visibility for the visibility of these chromosomes you no know, definitely compaction process when the compaction process of chromosomes taking place you no know, then only we can see or we can watch or we can observe the the visibility of chromosomes amma point purida so that is the main important points of leptotin next one is zygotin point of view so zygotin during this particular stage during this stage you no know, chromosomes start pairing together amma each and every point is a statement okay so in this particular case you no know, chromosomes start pairing together so means suppose if you take a human beings best example so we have 46 chromosomes isn't it if 46 chromosomes if you are applying for this statement you no know, so how it comes it comes as 23 pairs if that is only you no know, one pair means two two number of uh, any kind of things you know comes together and form a pair so here also during zygotin chromosomes start pairing together okay so thereby 46 number of chromosomes becoming as 23 pairs to understanding or for purpose point of view so i have given that example and this particular process is association is known as synapsis point kuri dama so here uh, starting a pair of chromosomes together that particular process of association will be there now ipo 46 chromosomes are scattered in the nucleus 
um, scatter so in a scattering manner so uh, these are 46 chromosomes without any particular proper arrangement when these chromosomes are like uh, scattered in the nucleus no so here when the particular uh, particular cell undergoes the substage of a zygote in what is happening no pairing of chromosomes we are observing so when this pairing of chromosomes uh, is a process is uh, started no so all chromosomes uh, start to pairing each other that particular pair or that particular process of association we are calling as a synopsis M a synopsis such paired chromosomes are known as homologous chromosomes means here homologous chromosomes means here the pairing also or the pairing process also takes place among the homologous chromosomes in a homologous chromosome here again you have to get one doubt sorry po, homologous chromosome what is the point sir how we have to understand the homologous chromosomes means if if I'm listen carefully right? the statement of a homologous chromosome suppose if the chromosomes are the morphologically similar if chromosomes suppose if the chromosomes are the morphologically or external view external view of a chromosome so suppose if a seems to be same means so such particular statement we will be considering as a homologous chromosomes so here the pairing also the pairing of chromosomes also uh, that particular process also taking place in a homologous chromosomes okay next one <laughs> the synopsis of chromosomes is accompanied by the formation of complex structure known as a synaptonymal complex so here we are observing one point so what is the point so in in a substrate of a zygote we are observing the pairing of chromosomes that particular pairing of chromosomes process of association we are calling as a synopsis this particular entire process is under the control of so is under the control of a structure i must see there the accompanied by the formation of uh, one complex structure is known as synaptonymal complex means here the paying or the synopsis so what is the word we here we are using so definitely that particular thing everything is under the control of synaptonymal complex so here one point you don't forget so with the help of a synaptonymal complex only definitely chance is there for the pairing of chromosomes so that particular process of association we are calling as a synopsis so that is the point the complex are formed by a pairing a pair of a synapto homologous chromosomes known as bivalents or the tetrad so means their bivalents so when the two present or when two uh, morphological chromosomes or when two similar morphological chromosomes are comes together and forms the bivalents so already i told you one point so once you come uh, come down and once you observe there so central diagram central diagram is there no so here these two chromosomes morphologically similar so when these two chromosomes are morphologically similar no so instead of calling off these chromosomes are the morphologically similar instead of these words we can say it as homologous chromosomes point breathama homologous chromosomes Ipo, once you see that these homologous chromosomes now we are giving one more name as bivalence by means two so two chromosomes are situated together or uh, being like a pair that particular thing we will be considering as bivalent or tetrad tetrad means what is the meaning no so here our knowledge point of view suppose if you take one particular chromosome how many number of chromatids we can observe two chromatids we can observe so here one and another one here so likewise so if you compare in a two chromosomes in a chromo two chromosomes no definitely we will observe the four chromatids so here one two three four four chromatids that's why because of the presence of four chromatids so one bivalent or uh, one pair of chromosome consist of tetrad and so these are bivalents or the tetrads are very clearly appeared or very clearly visible in next stage known as packeting i'm a point purida so there so here if here based on this diagrammatical view one more point i'll explain so what is the point you know so here one chromosome so we draw here 
so these two one chromatid and second chromatid among second chromatid means here two chromatids are there these two chromatids of the same chromosome if these two chromatids belongs to the one chromosome only now so that's why these two chromatids we are calling as a sister chromatids sister sister chromatid means the chromatids the chromatids or the pair of chromatids which are belongs to the which are belongs to the same chromosome is known as a sister chromatids so likewise once you see their middle diagram here the chromatid of one chromosome and the chromatid of another chromosome these two chromosomes we will be calling as a non sister chromatid non sister chromatids so sister chromatids means when the chromatids of same chromosome we are taking together no that particular chromosomes we are calling as sisters non sister means chromatid of one chromosome and another chromatid of another so together non sister chromatids point puridama so next one so next sub stage uh, we will be taking as a packetin so that's why i requested before to remember these five sub stages uh, together in one sequential order isn't it so first one is leptotin second one is zygotin and third one is packetin in packetin so what are the main important points to be discussed let us see now now i must see leptotin zygotin stages are short lived so means here the leptotin and the zygotin when compared to the packetin or the short lived compared to the next stage known as packetin point puridama so means third sub stage we are observing in the third sub stage of observe uh, uh, packetin no in comparison of uh, previous these two leptotin process or the leptotin substance and the zygotin substances are the short lived am um, short lived means will be completed so without any time lapse am um, short lived when compared to the packetin stage am um, next one during this stage during this stage the four chromatids of each bivalent chromosomes becomes distinct emma during this stage the four chromatids of each bivalent am uh, chromosomes become distinct and clearly appears as tetrads munadi we see no bivalent or the tetrad will be visible in the next stage likewise we see no so now here be, due to the distinction Emma, so thereby here when the chromosomes condensation process is going to be like uh, so there no during this stage you know four chromatids uh, of each bivalent uh, so chromosomes become distinct and clearly appears as tetrads clearly appears as tetrads so this stage is uh, characterized by the appearance of uh, recombination nodules idi uh, star mark putti underline pannikonga so means here so in packet in substrates what are the main important points sir we have to remember means so first one is clear appearance of tetrads so first point next one the appearance of recombination nodule appearance of recombination nodule next one the sites at which crossing over occurs between the non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes emma so definitely in a packet in we are observing the appearance of recombination nodule we are observing the appearance of recombination nodule so what is the use of these uh, recombination nodules means these recombination nodules so definitely helps emma definitely helps in in the process of crossing over definitely these recombination nodules helps in the process of crossing over so that particular crossing over also where we are observing that particular crossing over occurs between the non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes so between the non sister chromatids between the homologous chromosome am a homologous chromosome now between the non sister chromatids means these two between the non sister chromatids non sister chromatids means already i have given the chromatids of two different chromosomes am that particular chromatids we will be considering as non sister chromatids now the crossing over process also am or the recombination process also takes place am so in between the non sister 
chromatids. So here, why main important point here once you see that. So here you see. This is crossing over here and the homologous chromosomes. Now here uh, this chromatid is a mingled with the chromatid of another chromosome. And here, here also this chromatid of one chromosome mingled with the chromatid of another chromosome. So the crossing over, once you will observe the word crossing over, means uh, these chromatids comes one upon the another. Isn't it? So there, so one chromatid comes over the another chromatid so here also being like that so when these two chromatids comes one above the other no definitely here the process of crossing over starts so thereby when these two chromatids are comes one above the other no so that is is a main important step for the formation of new characters emma formation of new characters so i hope you understood this one so let us continue to learn so now let us continue to learn. So here the crossing over. Emma crossing over is the exchange of a genetic material. Once you see there one more time. The crossing over is the exchange of a genetic material between two homologous chromosomes. As we have seen before, so as we have seen before, no, crossing over definitely helps in the exchange of a genetic material. Emma exchange of genetic material of homologous chromosomes so here due to the process of crossing over 100 percent here we can observe the exchange of genetic material between the homologous chromosomes so don't forget so three times we have revised so i hope you understood that particular point emma so next information point of view once you see there crossing over is also an enzyme mediated process even this particular crossing over process also definitely depends emma definitely depends on the enzyme or enzymes activation so now here and enzymes involved is known as recombinase people recombination process going to be taken place emma recombination process occurs so in a recombination process recombination process where we can observe in crossing over so there what is the enzyme mainly helps in the recombination process means that is his recombinase enzyme people now only we see no ma crossing over is also an enzyme mediated process we seen and the enzyme involved uh, is known as recombinase so what is the enzyme is involved in the recombination or enzyme is involved in the crossing over now that particular enzyme we have given as our name we have given as recombinase suppose any any word ends with ac stands for enzyme next one crossing over leads to crossing over leads to the recombination of genetic material on the two chromat two chromosomes so thereby here because of the because of the crossing over emma so because of the crossing over definitely we will observe the recombination of a genetic material amma recombination of a genetic material is nothing but the development of new characters emma next one the recombination between homologous chromosomes is completed by the end of the packeting is a very very important point so here the recombination now so when these particular recombination recombination is a nothing but new variations or the creation of new characters so when this recombination now process is going to be taken place in between the homologous chromosome that particular entire process will be completed by the end of the packeting stage or by the end of the packeting substage Emma, next one and here so leaving the chromosomes linked at the sites of the crossing over so definitely here uh, what are the homologous chromosomes are there these two homologous chromosomes are get separated entirely except at the crossing over means in a crossing over two homologous chromosomes are joined together and the rest of the planes of the chromosomes definitely uh, will be there in a separated mode so simple point of my rendu chromosomes are homologous chromosome irkadana so rendu chromosomes chromatids are there now so link together and both chromatids of both chromosomes are linked only at the crossing over and the rest of the place of the cross uh, rest of the place of the chromosomes are definitely separated each other emma next one 
द बिगनिंग नेक्स्ट वन फोर्थ वन फोर्थ सब्सटेंस द बिगनिंग ऑफ डिप्लोटीन द बिगनिंग ऑफ डिप्लोटीन इज रिकग्न बै दि डिजल्यूशन आफ दि सिनाप्टनिमल कांप्लेक्स सो मै डियर स्टूडेंट्स वन पॉइंट टू ट्रई टू सेव इन यर मैंड अद इन सैकोटीन सब्सटेंस वी हव सीन दि दि अकोपल नईम मीन द फॉर्मेशन आफ ए स्ट्रक्चर नोन एस सिनाप्टनिमल कांप्लेक्स सो विद हेल्प ऑफ सिनाप्टनिमल कांप्लेक्स वी हव सीन दि द पेरिंग ऑफ पेरिंग ऑफ होमोलोग क्रोमोसोम्स वी सी इज इंड इट नाउ हि डिप्लोटीन डिप्लोटीन सब्सटेंस सो हव यू कैन रिमेबर मीन सो देर वट आर द मेन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट so we can uh, discuss a means amma see there exact let's spot line dissolution of the synaptonemal complex amma diplotin substrate is recognized by the uh, dissolution of a synaptonemal complex so when the dissolution means uh, here the appearance or the activity of the synaptonemal complex protein is uh, going to be am going to be discontinued so thereby here we have written like this once you see the diplotin substance is recognized by the synaptonemal or dissolution of a synaptonemal complex dissolution of synaptonemal complex and the tendency of the recombinant recombined homologous chromosomes of the bivalents to separate from the each other except at the sites of crossing ovaries puridama enna na ipo pairing of a homologous chromosomes that particular process is accompanied by the presence of homologous uh, presence of synaptonemal complex if with the help of a synaptonemal complex only definitely we will observe the presence of a pair of chromosomes if here homologous chromo uh, synaptonemal complex is not there means automatically what are the pairs of homologous uh, chromosomes are there no definitely start to move towards the opposite directions amma point purida simple amma one more time listen if with the help of uh, synaptonemal complex so two uh, or two chromosomes or two homologous chromosomes m or two chromosomes comes or are formed as a pair that particular pair only no we are calling as a bivalent if bivalent formation everything is under the control of a protein known as synaptonemal complex protein if in a diplotin what is happening so that particular uh, synaptonemal complex is going to be dissoluted so in this particular case no the tendency of the recombined homologous chromosomes of the bivalents to get to separate from the each other except at the sites of crossing over so except in this particular case except at the crossing over remaining all places of the homologous chromosomes get separated emma so nalla purinjukonga suppose if you are unable to understand no worry so i'll explain this particular entire information if you want in next next classes emma so definitely in presence of you suppose if you need this explanation so definitely i am ready to explain sorry right now let us move forward so now these uh, x shaped structures these x shaped structures are known as chiasmata एम एक्सपल स्ट्रक्चर नोन एस कैसमेट वन वी हव सी नो सो ई हव मार्क आलो एक्स शेपड कैसमेट सो कैसमेट शेप आलवेज विल बी लाइक एक्स शेपड डोंट फर्गेट मा नीट एग्जामे पॉइंट आफ व्यू इंपारटे नैक्स्ट वन सो दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट आलो मा सो इध स्टार मार्क रईट पड़को नोट्स नैक्स्ट वन इन ऊ सैड्स इन ऊ सैड्स आफ सम वेटी ब्रेड्स in who sides of some vertebrates uh, diplotin can last for months or years emma yeah, so in you know, who sides no, of some vertebrates in you know, who sides of some vertebrates if you see there no diplotin can last for months or years so diplotin means uh, here munadi we see no what is the point we have seen uh, in comparison of uh, leptotin and, and cycotin no, packetin substrate is a big one we see ipu in a diplotin no so what is the point we are observing no diplotin a process if you see there that last for months or years we are observing so thereby in comparison of five substrates of prophase one so what is the stage or what is the substrate prolongs for long time so that is is diplotin amma don't forget to important even example also is important the u sides of some vertebrates their uh, diplotin can last for last for lastm last means prolong amma so more time 
in this one we can use more time or prolonged meaning of last for months or years sorry yeah? so that is information of diplotin in a diplotin one and only the word remember panikongama remaining entire information you can forget at the end of word we should not forget under a diplotin no dissolution of a synaptonemal complex Emma, dissolution due to the dissolution of synaptonemal complex what is the problem oh, no till no pairing of chromosomes we are observing no when this particular dissolution of synaptonemal complex apadana, when synaptonemal complex is going to be disappeared appu pairing of homologous chromosomes also start to move towards the opposite directions but these two chromosomes combined or uh, joined at the crossing over Angi crossing over here kita na rendu me both chromatids seta cahici, ema so that particular place cannot be separated. In that particular crossing over no both chromosomes combine together, remaining rest of the place no or rest of the parts of the chromosome no start to move in opposite directions. Sir ema at the time only we will observe the clear structure of a chiasmata like X shaped structure. Next one, diakinesis point of view, diakinesis. This is a marked by the terminalization of chiasmata. Don't forget. So, terminalization, terminalization of chiasmata. So, terminalization of chiasmata process, we are observing in the fifth substage. Fifth substage of a prophase 1 is known as diakinesis. Next one, during this phase, the chromosomes are fully condensed. Am I see there? The chromosomes are fully condensed so condensation of the chromosome everything is completed in the diakinesis and the meiotic spindle a meiotic spindle is assembled to prepare the homologous chromosomes for the separation so thereby in this particular diakinesis now we can observe the spindle fibers of formation also Emma the assembling of meiotic spindle fibers Emma spindle fibers which helps in meiosis no that's why simply we are calling as meiotic spindle fibers Emma definitely helps in the uh, separation process next one by the end of diakinesis the nucleolus disappears and the nuclear nuclear envelope also break down or breaks down so why because our knowledge point of view in a prophase one only no or in a prophase only no we will observe the disappearance of nucleolus and the disappearance of nuclear membrane in nuclear membrane only we are calling by one more name nuclear envelope Emma, so these two nucleolus nuclear envelope or the nuclear membrane everything will be disappeared in the end of diakinesis Emma, next one, diakinesis represents the transition to the metaphase. It is important. Emma. So, in so many examinations, you know, we will ask this bit in objective examinations. Diakinesis represents transition to metaphase. Means, what is the meaning? You know? After dia diakinesis, next stage is nothing but metaphase. Emma, so, now let us start to discuss the metaphase 1 metaphase 1 so now the bivalence of the chromosome if bivalence of the chromosome aligned on the equatorial plate and the microtubules from the opposite four poles of the spindle attach to the kinetic core so if bivalence only are there no Amma, don't forget one point what are the bivalents are there these two bivalents are joined at the uh, X shaped chiasmata. Yeah, my crossing over is no? except in, in the particular case, uh, like uh, in a chromosomal region. No? So, except at the chiasmata region or except at the crossing over, remaining rest of the place is like a free. Yeah, so, that's why here, once you see there, the bivalent chromosomes align on the equator, uh, equa equational plate. So, your equatorial plate, we can write it. So, their equational plate or the equatorial plate. So, there, what is the point? No, in this particular case, what are the microtubules? So, here, the, what are the microtubules are there? So, here, all these, all these microtubules, all these microtubules are definitely attached at the kinetochore region. Emma, once you see, I will explain one more time of metaphase 1. There, the bivalent of chromosomes align on the Emma, bivalent chromosomes align on the equatorial plate. Emma, equatorial plate, the microtubules from the opposite poles of the spindle, spindle fibers, attached to the kinetochore of 
of homologous chromosomes simple nothing ma in a metaphase one no one and only the point you try to remember adu enna na one equatorial plate irukku ange equatorial plate mele chromosomes vandu attach avum emma or the chromosomes alignment will be there so that's why here we have written like this that is is the bivalence of the chromosomes the bivalence of the chromosomes uh, align on the equatorial plate and the microtubules uh, are attached or uh, will be there or originated at the opposite poles and will come or prolong towards the uh, chromosomes and attached at the kinetochore region of homologous chromosomes emma so this is a small explanation regarding five substages of prophase one and some more information of metaphase one emma so in the next video definitely i'll come with anaphase one and telophase one once these two phases rest of the phases are completed definitely i'll explain the meiosis two emma so thank you and be safe at home